Hello, this is Oliver Phillips from Avalon and you're watching LifeProg. Welcome to LifeProg.com. My name is Marcel Haster and this is a new video review. You saw it correctly, the cover of the album I'm presenting to you. And the band that, well, wrote and recorded this album should not need any introduction. RPWL from Germany. Of course, everybody knows them because they have been around for quite a few years and released some really incredible albums. Now, it's been, well, not quiet for a while, but it's been a while since their last studio album, which was in 2008. And they released a live album and a sort of a best of album in between. But finally, we have a new album of them. And not just an album, no, they finally decided to adhere to one of the biggest prog cliches, a concept album. And here it is then, RPWL, Beyond Man and Time. cover and here you have the back side of it looks nice but looks can be deceiving because I'll show you what happens there we have a completely different cover of the album and the reverse side is the same so a different kind of album cover but the same music of course their first concept album what does that mean actually because um, what's the difference between a concept album and a regular album? Well, basically it's the story. Um, with a concept album you just have one story from the beginning of the album to the end. Now, the band released albums on a, a, a sort of a certain similar theme before, but this is the first time that the lyrically the story also um, well, follows one theme. What kind of a theme is that? Well. For those of you who'd like something to chew on with the lyrics, you can eat your heart out with this one um, because this one is based on um, a book by Friedrich Nietzsche, the philosopher, um, Also Sprach Zarathustra. Well, that's of course um, a very familiar name, a very famous book that he wrote. Um, and well, the whole idea that was found in that book is also kind of found in this uh, album, Beyond Man and Time. Um, the first line of Also Sprach Zarathustra reads 6,000 feet beyond man and time. Well, there we have the title of the album. Now, um, when you look at the track listing, and I hope you can see it, you will see behind all the song titles there are names or well descriptions of characters. Um, you have, for example, the keeper. You have the blind, and what doesn't say on the back side, but does says in the cover is the willingly blind. So there's something more to it than just a blind person. You have the scientist, you have the ugliest man in the world, um, and oh, the creator, and moving on, uh, the fisherman. And all of them, uh, all these characters kind of impart their wisdom upon the main character of the story. So, you know, if you want to dive into the lyrics, then I can assure you with this one you'll have plenty to read and to think about. Now, I must say I'm not really into that philosophy, I am more into the music and hopefully and probably you are as well. So, of course, we want to know, well, where does this album stand musically? I must say, um, when I listened to the album, there were no big surprises for me. 
Um, with RPWL, you kind of know what to expect uh, because they have, of course, this uh, this whole Pink Floyd idea hung up on them, which I find uh, both a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because every review it's mentioned, um, but it's also a blessing because they picked out the really beautiful elements of Pink Floyd, and especially um, think of the Pink Floyd without waters, the, the David Gilmour part, and then especially uh, the division bell kind of atmosphere, you know? The really beautiful, soft, melodic music. That is the atmosphere you find on this album. It's really beautiful. Um, but what I also found when I listened to the album is that they did not only uh, look for that kind of atmosphere, they also well, kind of looked back at their own albums. And uh, I got the idea that they picked out the elements of their previous albums that made them so beautiful and they all put it together and mixed it into a absolutely stunning album. I dare to say that this is the best album RPWL has well, released, has made, has written so far. Um, the melodies are stunning, uh, the, the music is very beautiful, so it is an absolute joy to listen to this album. In the period between the RPWL experience from 2008 and Beyond Man and Time 2012, um, several things have happened. They had some lineup changes and some new members have joined. Now we still have of course Yogi Lang on the vocals, Kalle Walner on the guitars, Marcus Jele on the keyboards, but also uh, two new members have joined and they've been on the live recordings and they've been also, uh, well at least one of them on the Best Of album, um, which is Mark Turio, the drummer, um, but they also had a new bass player, Werner Taus. For those two, this is the first time they actually feature on a new studio album. And I gotta say, as a band, they sound absolutely fantastic. You know, they work together very good um, and, and well, they really bring the story to life. And it's beautiful music and um, of course a lot of people will be completely hung up on uh, the track The Fisherman because this is the longest track in their career. It's over 16 minutes and it's an absolutely beautiful track but I love every bit of this album. Every bit of it is just as good. I mean, they had um, a, few, a bit of an intro with Transformed, the first track. With the second track, We Are What We Are, you know, the band goes in, they start up the whole music, the vocals come in. Um, I I've, I've really enjoy uh, Yogi Lang as a singer. I know he's a poet and he really puts that idea into the way he sings, so it's, it's a pleasure to listen to. Um, there's one thing I definitely need to show you because I mentioned the cover and I gotta say oh, I have mixed emotions about um, well, the cover, the, the artwork in it, whether or not I really like it. It's a lot of drawings, um, but if I take out the booklet, which is pretty big, um, there's a lot to discover. So I'm going to show it to you while you listen to a little bit of music from this incredible album. So enjoy the lyrics and the music. Beyond Man and Time, the album is written by Yogi Lang and Kalle Walner and I gotta say they did a fantastic job. I can only repeat, I think this is the best album they have released, well, 
in their career. So, um, in conclusion, I can only say that this album is an obligated buy. This is, well, a life proc must have, but it is absolutely an album you need to have. So, enjoy Beyond Man and Time by RPWL. And thank you for watching.